Happy Earth Day. So this is the aftermath of yesterday's adventure. I was hearing a little bird for a while and now I don't hear it. I'm wondering if they're going to make a a nest on top of that. It looks like they've replaced the box with something more rounded. I don't know if the the birds will nest there this year, but yeah, so it's Earth Day. There's an event going on in the park. This is the aftermath of me following yesterday's adventure. Um, you know, I think I did as good as I did for as long as I did yesterday because I was around people. I'm a extroverted introvert or an ambivert, if you will. Um, I've probably been introverted more of my life just because I uh, sometimes I just don't really get people <laughs> I don't it's true um you know I just sometimes I just don't understand people but I like people they're my species <laughs> so being chronically ill and being housebound and what housebound means is that I mean obviously I was out of the house yesterday um but what housebound means by a definition is that I on my own accord can't get out of the house by myself so I do need help with somebody getting the roller door up and down the stairs I'd like to to get to a point where you know just like a combination of things to treat the pain of fibromyalgia and the weakness from the myasthenia gravis and maybe doing some physical therapy to help rebuild core strength and things like that. I'd like to get to a point, hopefully, maybe someday in my functioning, like a stretch goal would be like twice a month, which would be like once every two weeks for me to be able to get down the stairs by myself without help. <laughs> I know I have these like unrealistic expectations, but nonetheless, I'll share them with you. So the goal is to get out, out of the house by myself, you know, or to, you know, I don't really think um, being able to afford a, a different place is in the cards for me right now. But, you know, um, you know, it's just and how would I move? <laughs> So, yeah, it's just a lot. But anyhow, so in a perfect world, I would be able to, you know, at least twice a month, be able to get down the stairs with the roller and outside. And um, I'm like, there's like an intersection, like one building away, and that's a bus line. So to be able to get onto a wheelchair access bus, which means I could walk right up the wheelchair ramp with my roller and then be lifted by hydraulics into the bus. Um, and then I could go down to the park, you see? So my aid, now some of you might be saying, well, you've got personal care aid. Why can't your aid do that? Well, because the insurance is what covers the aid. So the aid is here only for a limited amount of time and there are restrictions as to what the aid can and cannot do. So there's a certain number of hours a week that I've been allotted and there are certain types of activities that my aid is um, supposed to be utilized for. So while um, isolation can cause anxiety and depression and all these things, I guess, you know, I guess there's a lot of people that think that because I'm disabled, I'm not supposed to have any fun whatsoever, and that I'm supposed to be sick, depressed, and miserable 24-7, 365. And for a lot of the a lot of the part of the time, you know, a lot of the time, um, like, except for parts of the time, I guess I'm trying to say, is that's true, is that there's a lot of time where I'm just miserable and I'm sick and I'm depressed. And I'm depressed because I'm sick and I'm miserable because I'm sick and I'm anxious about my future because I'm sick. Um, so while 
other cultures and other societies would look at that and be like, well, maybe we can't cure the sickness, but maybe we can, you know, support an individual so that they're not so isolated, so they're not so depressed, so that they have more opportunities to feel better about themselves. And that is not the culture that I'm living in. Um, you know, I mean, there's pros and cons to, to everything, I guess, but anyhow, I guess the point is, is that I wish I could do things that I'm not really able to do right now. And, you know, I think about maybe someday I could be able to do that. And wouldn't that be great? Like, wouldn't it be great if I could, you know, work part time consistently, like even if it's five hours a week? like one hour a day, five days a week, like on something consistently without worrying about chronic pain, chronic fatigue, muscle weakness, um, my vision getting like, eh, my voice, you know. So, so it's Earth Day. And I would love to be outside and connecting with nature. And the best I could do is look at the sun and the sky and the treetop and tiny little patches of kind of not very healthy looking grass that unfortunately, because my downstairs neighbors are littered with cigarette butts. And, and just yearn for the life that I used to have, yearn for a life that I wish I could have and try to accept the life that I actually do have. I think I'm gonna go cry now.